My name is Dr. Jeff Rogers, and I'm the lead data scientist for the UK MS Register based in the Population Data Science Department at Swansea University. As a data scientist, I look at an enormous amount of anonymized data to answer important research questions guided by insights from our clinical partners. These data are generated from dozens of questionnaires answered by our thousands of participants who have very generously donated their personal health data and time to further research in MS. This enormous resource has up to 10 years of records for some of our longest serving participants, tracing the evolution of health metrics like motor disability, mood, fatigue, and general quality of life in people with MS. This allows us, the researchers, the possibility of gaining real insights into how people with MS change over the course of their disease and to hopefully, potentially, affect their lives for the better. For the last few years, I've had the privilege to work with some very clever people trying to understand this wealth of data in a way that will positively help people with MS and show our participants that what they are doing is very important. Some of my most exciting recent work has been done with Professor Richard Nicholas, the lead neurologist of the UK MS Register based at Imperial College London. We've been looking at almost 8,000 people who've given historical data about their smoking habits, i.e. if they've ever smoked, and if so, do they still smoke? When did they quit? How many cigarettes a day did or do they still smoke? This, along with regular disability and mood monitoring, have allowed us to conduct one of the largest population studies on the effects of smoking and disability in MS ever. We created three different types of studies and we carried out very st thorough statistical analyses on all of them so that we could be sure of the validity of the results, but more importantly, so that that our members uh, and the members of the clinical and scientific community could trust the authenticity of our results and use them in their practice and clinical decision making. Well, you won't be surprised if I tell you that we found out that smoking is bad for you, but that's not news, is it? You know that already, so what? We have found that smoking causes real world disability and mood worsening in our very large population of people with MS. And this adds to the mountains of evidence that smoking is bad in people with MS. But, and this is why I'm so excited about this work, there is a really positive message that's fell out of this study. We found that the rate of disability progression and mood worsening is higher in people that smoke. Yes, but, if you stop smoking, that rate of worsening very quickly goes back to one similar to someone who's never smoked. We wrote a scientific paper on this work and submitted it to a widely read and respected neurological journal, Brain. The work was reviewed by eminent researchers in the field to make sure that the science behind the research was robust and that the findings we report are accurate. It was approved for publication and is now available for anyone to read. We've already received positive feedback from clinicians who plan to use this evidence as a positive encouragement for their patients. As well as this work being published in a top neurological journal, I recently was asked to present a talk at Ectrums, which is the largest medical and scientific research conference in the world, dedicated to disseminating the most current research and treatment trends in the field of MS care. The talk was well received by the neurologists there and was even mentioned at the closing talk as one of the highlights. These great insights and positive reactions from the clinical community in providing better advice couldn't have been done without the dedicated participants of the UK MS Register. I'll leave you with my final thoughts. If you're interested, go and read the paper. There's a link in the description. The most important message of this research is that it's never too late to quit. And when you do quit, there will be real positive benefits for the progression of your MS. Thank you.